Sudra. Everyone is so generous in the neighborhood. Yes, I have got so many sweets and chocolate. But I won't be able to eat them all. I have an idea, Rudra. We can distribute these in the orphanage. Give them away? No, I will not give them away. Okay, Mr. Scrooge, as you feel it. Mr. Scrooge, who is that mom? I will tell you. One Christmas Eve, Mr. Scrooge was looking out from the window of his workplace. What nonsense! All these foolish people are running around uselessly for just Christmas Eve. Oh, I just hate Christmas Eve. He walked inside and started checking his list of all the people who owed him money. His helper approached him with hesitation and asked, Sir, can I leave early today? It's Christmas and I want to buy a present for my son. No, you can't leave early. You should have bought it earlier. Now just go from here and do your work. Helper walked away with sad face. Then somebody knocked the door. Scrooge's nephew, Fred, comes to visit for inviting him to dinner at his place. Merry Christmas, uncle! It's just a normal eve. What's so merry in this? I am here to invite you for Christmas dinner. These celebrations are just nonsense. I won't come. I insist, uncle. Please do come. We will have lots of fun together. Just go from here and let me do my work. Nephew walked away sadly. The bell rings again. Oh, what now? Helper? Yes, sir. Open the door, you fool. Helper opens the door. Two visitors come in to meet Mr. Scrooge for some charity. So good to see you, Mr. Scrooge. We have heard a lot about you. We think you are kind enough to give something for charity. Do you like to do something for orphans? I am sure you will feel good and happy. Oh no! Go now! Go to another door. I have no money. Leave me now so that I can work. Scrooge refused to give them money. So they walked out with great sadness. Later that evening, Mr. Scrooge went home, sat on his couch and slept. At that moment, some strange things began to happen. Windows and doors began to swing. There were howling noises coming from the door. All of a sudden, a ghost appeared right in front of him.
Come on, we will dance together. Their children, Martha, Peter, and Crimpling, Tiny Tim too, joined them. They were having skimpy dinner, but enjoying Christmas Eve. What happened to him? Will he live? I am afraid. Next Christmas we will find one chair empty. Poor fellow. Please take me away. Let's go to your nephew's house. They are enjoying, but missing me too. Let's go from here. Also. Now they come across two beggar children who were thin and sickly. They were miserable to look at. Are these spirits too? No, they are not spirits. They are real hunger and ignorance. They walk to you for comfort, but you deny them always. Oh, I am so sorry. was in the bedroom another ghost floated into the room this time it was the ghost of christmas yet to come i have some place to take you abenzal come with me who are you are you the third spirit yes i am here to show you the future ghost took scrooge along with him to a tiny house i have been here before this is cratchit's house Heartbroken Bob Cratchit is sitting beside his son's bed. The son is very sick. Why is he crying? The son was very thin and pale. Mrs. Cratchit entered the bedroom. Did you ask Mr. Scrooge for help? Do you think he will help us? Yes, I asked him for help, but he refused me outright. What? Now, what will we do without our son? Why? What's wrong with the little boy? Is he going to die? Tell me, please. The ghost did not answer. Now, the ghost took Scrooge to a dark and foggy place. Where are we going now? Please take me back. I am taking you to your future. Ghost pointed his finger towards the graveyard. This is a graveyard. Why did you bring me here? The ghost did not answer. Then Scrooge went to see the grave. Looks like the person who died was not loved much. Frightful Scrooge fell on his knees. Engraved on the headstone was the name Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh poor Scrooge, this is your own grave. Look at Tiny Tim's grave. On the other hand, everyone is showing their love for him, and no one is there for you. Oh my God! No, no, no one cares for me, ghost. I will change. I promise. I will become a kind-hearted person. I will not be a cold, greedy person anymore. Please take me back. In a moment, the ghost of Christmas yet to come vanished. and scrooge was found asleep in his room scrooge opens his eyes the ghost of the past the present and the future have taught me a good lesson i promise to become a good person from now help us what day is today sir it's christmas today merry christmas to you what are you doing here go and enjoy with your family here are some gifts for you and your family members thank you so much sir merry christmas to you too sir i will send some gifts 
for my cloth bob and his son tiny tim too i will go to my nephew house and spend christmas eve there scrooge goes to his nephew fred's house wow what a pleasant surprise uncle merry christmas to you merry christmas fred i have come to celebrate christmas with you can i come in yeah sure uncle we will be very happy to receive your company all of them enjoyed the christmas eve together by singing and dancing from that day onwards scrooge was a completely changed man who was always ready to help the poor and needy people is this for us mr scrooge are you giving this to us oh thank you dear lord Thank you sir thanks for saving us from this bitter cold Oh Mr Scrooge you are such a kind hearted person All the people lived happily in the end Thank you mom for sharing such a wonderful story I promise you that I will become a good boy and share my things with others